Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mini Madness Championship. We're in the evening splits now, as you can see by that image there. Uh, unfortunately, we're getting quite a bit of lag at the moment. I'm not sure what's going on. I think it might be to do with the heat, um, because I've done many, many resets. So if this struggles a lot, it may be that we have to record this and upload it after. But we will wait and see with that one. I just ran around the house at 100 miles an hour, so I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> Uh, just to try and unplug everything from the internet, but it's still struggling a little bit here. As I say, we'll see how that goes. If I have to stop the stream, we still record this all the same. Um, as you can see, anyway, the names of the first drivers in the evening split are there. Um, and the internet isn't improving at all at the moment. Um, but you can see them there. We've got Zachave, David M, Vagabond, Bex, Chaldenby, Forest 4A, TNTR Max Bailey... Jersey CX, VLX Chewy, Lars Venez, Tuscany, Dacoops, and the 54. Now, um, let's just make sure everything's okay on my side because it's going very slowly is the internet today, apparently. Or well, this evening, should I say. Far too slowly. Oh, I'm, I'm struggling to breathe here, guys. I literally just sprinted with about 20 seconds to go on that uh, video around the house at 100 miles an hour. Uh, let's go to the uh, actual race area now. I'm just going to get out of studio mode. Um, and uh, yeah, let's have a look at what is going on on circuit. We have 13 drivers in this lobby. Um, and uh, yes, we, will go we are going to see what happens. I can see this internet is struggling a lot. So it may be that we have to end this and do this pre-recorded. But even so, I will continue all the same. Uh, but let's have a look at some of the deliveries first of all. Let's get all the display information on and the keyboard is on as well. Um, I think the live stream is trying to catch up with itself a little bit as well. Um, yes, we will have to see with this one, guys. Uh, I wonder if I can lower the bit rate a little bit here and uh, see if I can do something to solve this. Oh, wrong keyboard. I have two keyboards right in front of me. So we have Lars here, and uh, Lars, we can't actually see his livery here. I'm hoping the internet has recovered here. If it does die again, we unfortunately will have to end the live stream, but I will continue broadcasting all the same. Uh, we then have Bex in that Monsters Energy livery. And then we have Jersey Oasis on the back of their car there. And then we have Zakave. Zakave. You can see the name on the back of the car. At least we'll know when Zakave is going round the circuit. We then have FFS David M748 in. Oh, there we go. A Starsky and Hutch livery right there, guys. That is unbelievable stuff. I like that idea. I really, really do. We then have Vagabond, the HT, in... I'm not can't quite tell that livery. And then we have the Coops. The Coops. The Coops is on fire. Um, what kind of livery is that? I can't tell what's actually on top. We'll have to have a look later on. Um, H1CR. <laughs> Fantastic. We then have the Filthy... Uh, the Filthy? The 54, not the Filthy 4. Sounds a bit like uh, the Fab Four, but slightly different. We then have Chaldenby in that rusty, rusty, rusty Mini Cooper S right there. We then have TNTR Max Bailey. Tesco, Tesco value car. It's a bit dirty, as you can tell by the number plate. We then have Tuscany in <laughs> the Royal Mail liveried Mini. That's fantastic. Uh, we then have Lars Venez there in the Mini with the glitter and the Portuguese flag on top. Uh, we then have David um, there. In, in fact, have we got two star ski and hutch liveries in here? Or am I just seeing, being blind here? Ah, we missed Chewy. There we go. Mr. Bean's official car is actually racing here in the championship. That's absolutely fantastic.
Right guys, I think we might be back. We might not be back. I don't know. I'm just trying something. We'll see if it works for the moment, but uh, we are going to start qualifying in due course here. So uh, let's uh, reset the lobby. Um, race settings. Edit event settings. As we get ready here. We've qualified. It's definitely the heat. I've just got a dedicated fan. I plunked it directly next to my, <laughs> my plug for the network. Uh, we will see what happens here. Um, let's, uh, where's the visual damage? There it is. Right, let's go. Qualifying is a go. It doesn't look like the stream's going to work. Let's see what happens as we get ready for qualifying here in the Mini Madness Championship. Let's see what happens. That's Vagabond is first out for qualifying. Duskin in second. Max Bailey in third position. Zakave in fourth there. I love that target on the back of Zakave's car as well. Then have Lars in P5. P6 is going to be Bex. And P7 is Forrest in that Pampers. We didn't actually look at that car. Uh, the Pampers liveried car there. That looks absolutely fantastic. Well played, Forrest, with that livery. Cheldon B in the rusted Mini Cooper there. And then in ninth place, we've got Jersey. In P10, we have the 54. P11 is David. P12 is uh, Chewy in the Mr. Bean car. And Decoops in P13. Decoops, you do really need to get going, mate. Just let her, you know. As uh, we get ready with Max Bailey to go on to a lap. We might actually follow Tuscany here in that Royal Mail machine. Um, and actually follow him for a lap. See what he does. See how the slipstream has an impact here. As uh, we go round the left-hander here as we begin the lap once again. We have four more races this evening. And this is the first qualifying session of two for the sprint race in this evening split one see Max Bailey taking a wild line trying to maintain a much more speed Tuscany goes down to the inside is going to be a Max Bailey slipstream as we head towards the line here once again for the qualifying session we cross the line now to start the first flying lap here with Tuscany as we head down towards the first corner you it's just going to take a wide line in. Goes a bit more shallow this time compared to other drivers. You can see how the Mini gets out of shape here. 74 mile an hour average speed. Oh my word, that's the highest average speed we've seen through that first corner. We continue on out of that corner now. And we head towards the left-hander here. Remember looking for that slight white tint in the barrier. Oh, he cuts that beautifully. Oh, Tuscany's on an absolute barnstormer of a lap here. We go towards the right-hand side now. Does he cut a lot of this? He does. Look at that speed maintained. Oh, Max Bailey's off. Tuscany's off as well. Tuscany's off in the grass. You see how it understeers there? It's a very technical corner. It doesn't look it initially, but it is here as we head towards the hairpin now. What's going to happen here? Tuscany goes into the hairpin a little bit sideways. Goes down to second gear. Similar to GT Alex earlier on. Up to third gear early there to avoid the wheel spin. Like hitting the rev limiter as well when you get that wheel spin. And then we go into the left-hander once again. Around we go. Oh, he's very close to Max Bailey. Is that a compromised lap? Is that a compromised lap? We'll find out later on as we head towards the last corner. Once again, 15-meter board. You want to chuck it in here. And takes a lot of that uh, curb there. As I say, we are playing to the track limits of Gran Turismo Sport. So if GT Sport lets you do it, you can do it. As we jump on board with this camera now. We've just gone to a different camera angle than we normally use. Now, where is Tuscany going to get? Or what kind of lap time is he going to get? The fastest we've seen today is a 137.6. We head towards the line here. Oh, it's only a 39.8. He does get a pull initially. We've got Vagabond in P3 at the moment. Next to come across the line here. What's Vagabond going to do? Oh, two and a half seconds off the base. Oh, Bex into P1. Seven attempts. Oh, Chaldon B even more into P1. A 38-2. That's a cracking lap by Chaldon B. Uh, we follow Forest A now across the line. Up to P5 there. 39-6. Chewy just in there in P8. Let's go further back. We've got Zakave about to cross the line here in this qualifying session. Still just... Oh, it's a bad lap there. He must have made a mistake somewhere. Lars just up ahead. And then we've got the Coops. And that is the Coops on any form of lap here. 
purple sector one there for Tuscany. Um, let's find out what happens later on. Where's the Coops in this list? A bit further down here. Uh, 27 8, so a bit off the pace there. 38 6 in the middle sector. That's a cracking middle sector by the Coops. Let's see what happens here as he heads towards the line now for to finish his first flying lap here at Blue Moon in field A. Let's find out what he does here. Comes around that last corner now. And heads towards the line. What is the Coops going to get here? It's going to be a... So we hold breath here. Up into P3 there. Up into P3. Now, is Child be up on his time? I'm not sure. Oh, trying to overtake Vagabond there. That's going to compromise his lap there. Child and Biz. Uh, we follow Bex round here. In fact, is somebody up ahead? Uh, Tuscany, I reckon that will be. Oh, Tuskey's right behind Max Bailey. They both head towards the line. Who's going to go on top? Oh, Tuskey only gets P2. Max Bailey into P4. Let's go a bit further back here. Ah, oh, we're trying to get Bex. Bex, there is Bex. What kind of lap time is Bex on? Does improve, but doesn't go any further up the grid. So we go further down. We've got David right behind Forrest. There's a few guys coming across the line here. So we head towards the line. Oh, we've got a couple of movers there. I didn't quite see who that was. We followed David towards the line. Stays there. And then we've got... Trying to find who who's further back there. I did not see. Uh, we've just got the Coops now on a lap. Who is P7 at the moment. Goes round the last hairpin there. Vagabond doesn't have to say sorry. He's at every entitlement to take a lap, as does everybody else. Oh, up on his time. 8,000. So he only needs... 38 thousandths to overtake TNTR Max Bailey. Can he do it? The Coops round that last corner one last time. And heading towards the oval for one last time in this qualifying session. How is the Coops going to handle this? Comes round that last corner. Heads towards the line now. What kind of lap time is this going to be? 31, 32, 33. It's looking for 38 thousandths. What can the Coops do? 36, 37, 38. He improves. Oh, he jumps lost as well. He jumps lost by 12 thousandths of a second. And only 64 thousandths behind Chewy. My word, that is a close quality session. Uh, but there you have it with the final results of qualifying. Unbelievable effort from all drivers there. But Chaldeby takes pole position from Tuscany. And then Bex in P3. Right. Race time, boys and girls, children of all ages. Let's get ready for the sprint race in this Mini Madness Championship. Round one in the evening split. This should be exciting. Lots of liveries in here. We'll cover the liveries a bit more throughout the race as well because I realise this is a video on demand rather than the live stream. But even so, we get ready here. We've got Chaldon B, P1 there. And then we've got Tuscany, P2. Bex, P3. Chewy, P4. Dakuts, P5. Lars, P6. Max Bailey, P7. Jersey, P8. David, P9. I missed the back of the grid there. Forest P10, Zakovay P11, the 54 P12, and Vagabond in P13. Let's jump to the pole position, man. That's Chaldon B93 in that rusty mini. Obviously, the engine's not rusted. So we get ready. Lights out. Away we go here. Oh, not a lot of wheel spin there. Who's had the better start there? Bex looks like they've had a fantastic start. They are indeed. Look at that. Already side by side with Tuscany and heading to overtake Chaldon B as well. Bex down the inside. It's going to be two positions before even turn one here. What a move by Bex. Bex into P1 from P3. Fantastic effort there from Bex as we go around the first turn there. The Royal Mail Mini Cooper is in there as well. Bex in that Monsters Energy delivery. Fantastic start there. Tuscany looking to come back here in that Royal Mail van. We have three laps here. Remember, reverse grid for the feature race as we go round this corner. Tuscany trying to stay on the inside, but going to be on the outside for this right-hander coming up. Um, and uh, TNT, oh, Max Bailey trying to go in there, three wide, oh it's a big incident, absolutely huge incident here in the sprint race, that was Max Bailey going off there, three wide into that right hander, does not go, and we've seen the outcome there, and it looks like there's a penalty further back as well, Tuscany taking the lead there, the coup down the inside of Lars, and Chaldeby doesn't quite get it to work, Chaldeby, starting on pole position, all the way down in P5 now, uh, having an awful start here, uh, but can he get back up to P4 there, going to be on the inside, for that uh, corner. Let's jump further back here. The Mr. Bean is up to P3. How about that? And the Pampers car there. P7 of Forest, Looking uh, like it's a bit looser on the outside of the circuit. 
Uh, fortunately for Max Bailey, a boost is on, so he should be able to get back up in the fight there. You can just see him at the rear end of this pack. But what a fantastic opening lap here in this evening split round number one. Here at Blooming in field A, it's going to be Tuscany from Bex. We then have P3 of Chewy, P4 Chaldon B, P5 of Lars, P6 of Decoups, P7 David. Uh, but Bex looking to try and go around the outside of Tuscany as they head towards the start finish line. Bex actually taking the lead on to lap number two. Oh, slight bit of contact there. These cars can bounce quite easily off each other as we come in to the first corner. Oh, we're going three, four wide here down into turn one. What's going to happen here? We're on with Dacoups. David's gone all four-wheel drifting as we go around that corner now. Big, big battle again. We've got five cars up front and we've got this big, big battle for this P6 position at the moment. Dacoups trying to escape as fast as he can. Zachary's in there. Zachary's made some positions from P11 to P8 at this moment in time. Round that left hander we go and then we're going to go into the right hand. Let's jump to the leader, Tuss Tuscany at the moment, followed by Chewy. Chaldenby's sorted himself out now. Uh, up, back up into P3. Chewy's got a 0.5 penalty. Shouldn't take. Oh, he's actually lifting as well. Fair play to uh, Chewy. Uh, but Bex in P4 in there as well. Bex going to get to P3. Chewy trying to maintain some form of position here. Round the inside here at the hairpin as they continue on out of there now. Oh, everybody's in the fight here. Max Bailey back in the fight as well. Up to P6. Drop down to P13. Back up to P6. Fantastic effort there by Max Bailey as around the hairpin they go. And they head again towards that left hand of that last corner. But Tuscan has got a bit of a gap here. But uh, not enough of a gap. There's still slipstream gap there. So Child and Me will be able to take advantage of that. And you see that gap start to already come down with that slipstream. Very hard to pull away here at this Blue Moon infield A circuit. We're already approaching the final lap in this sprint race. And remember, guys, wherever they finish here, they're going to be reverse grid for the feature race. Feature race of nine laps. But Tuscany heading towards that start-finish line to start the third lap here. Child and B, P2, Bex, P3. Oh, everyone's lined a stern here. It's not quite six wide that we had earlier on today. Uh, but we've got three wide there. Four wide, potentially. I'm trying to get with them. It's four wide into turn one. No, it's three wide. Oh, a little bit of contact there with Zachary. Uh, but Zachary holds onto it as well. And Vagabond there in P13. The uh, Starsky and Hutch livery there on the car. It's looking fantastic. Tuscany still leading the way here in that Royal Mail van. Chaldeby P2. Bex under all sorts of pressure from Mr. Bean here in P4. That's VLX Chewy looking down the inside on this right-hander. Oh, they're both going to run extremely wide. Oh, they've got into the back. Oh, they've been walled. They've been walled. They've actually been stopped on that corner. Oh, my word. That's terrible news for these guys. This is on the last lap as well. Oh, they've lost a significant amount of positions. So it's going to be Tuscany from Chalderby. At the moment in time, can Chalderby get the position heading towards the line? He's very close to Tuscany as we come into this left-hander of the hairpin for the final time in this sprint race. Let's have a look what happens here. A few guys have made up positions here due to that error earlier on with Bex and Chewy. Um, coming on to the final straight here and Chalderby is very very close here Chalderby's getting with a good shot of taking this victory potentially as they head onto the oval for one last time in this sprint race it's between Chalderby and Tuscany we will concentrate a little bit further back shortly there's been a bit of action throughout the field it's broken up entirely but it's going to be Tuscany versus Chalderby Chalderby right behind Tuscany here where's he going to go goes to the right side it's, Tal it's Tuscany versus Chalderby it's 0 .0, 0 0.05, 0 .0 0.03, 0.01. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, my God. One thousandth of a second. Oh, my word. That is unbelievable. Oh, we had have Lars. Uh, Jersey De Cuse, Max Bailey. Good recovery there. The 54 P7. Back up on P8. Forrest P9. Oh, Zachary P10. David P11. Bex P12. And Chewy in P13. Oh, my word. What a finish. One thousandth of a second. That is absolutely balmy. What on earth is going on here? That could not have been any closer. Oh my word. Whoa, we don't want to do that. Um, okay, can I just please get off that? Oh my word. I need to save that replay. And that was a live stream. That was all on video on demand. Oh, that was unbelievable. Right, so we'll let the guys have five minutes. Chill, warm up. But let's have a look at the final results. Oh, my word. The final results here. Chalderby, Tuscany, Lars, Jersey, Decoups, Max Bailey. Look at the look, look at the top two. One thousandth of a second. I actually can't believe that. Oh, my word. 
that is crazy is all I can say absolutely crazy <clears throat> let's set the track up now um, so we're gonna go in uh, reverse grid based on previous race results oh we need to put it to nine laps as well Tidge you absolute pleb there we go <clears throat> and uh, nine laps reverse grid based on previous race results but what a fantastic race that was one thousandth at the end one thousandth oh, crazy 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 um, I I actually can't believe that I literally cannot believe how close that was unbelievable effort here uh, we'll just ask uh, smoke screen Just in case there's any connection issues. There we go. So, wow. I still cannot believe the ending to that one. That was absolutely fantastic. We have a little breather now and then we will... <clears throat> go into the feature race which is nine laps of course that was absolutely unbelievable I'm speechless after that one thousandth of a second heading towards the line one thousandth of a second what on earth I, I literally cannot believe it I literally cannot believe it that was absolutely balmy it really really was Oh, I definitely need a breather after that. I need some water after that. And relax. So what I will do, just in this brief moment, just in case the lobby decides to explode itself, is because I'm not live streaming this now, I just need to take note of who came where here. So give me one moment, please. It's Chaldenby from Tuscany. And then Lars... Where did Lars come from? Lars absolutely came back there. Jersey, P4 to Coops, P5. Uh, Max Bailey in P6. Uh, we got the 54 in P7. Uh, Vagabond in P number 8. Uh, Forest 4A in P9. Uh, and then Zakave in P10. P11 for David. And P12 for Bex. And that leaves Chewy in P13 there. <clears throat> oh, right, we can chill, we can relax, we can breathe as we get ready for the final race of Split 1 here. Again, fantastic racing throughout the field a uh, little bit of an incident there with uh, Chewy and Bex of course uh, but nothing that we could have done there if I'm honest uh, what I might do now is actually set this grid up in the correct order so give me one moment please um, then I don't have to rely on this game a little bit because I, I'm always concerned occasionally <clears throat> Uh, oh, I want to sort the data. Will you let me sort the data, please? You plebish. Nope. Okay, maybe I can't do that. So let's just quickly uh, do it this way. If I edit event settings. Set by host. Change grid order. So in, go backwards. So we've got Chewy on pole. Uh, we then have Bex. Now these two are... We're up there in that race, so there's a potential that these two could escape very, very quickly. Uh, then we now have David. Um, we then have Zakave. Um, P9. Or, uh, we need Forest. And then we have P8 of Vagabond. That's excellent. P7 is the 54. Uh, P6 is TNTR Max Bailey. Max Bailey did very well to come back in that. P5 is De Coops. P4 is Jersey. P6 
three is Lars and we know Chelden B won that race. There's the grid all set up. Oh, that did not save. Thanks, PlayStation. So we're going to begin in 30 seconds, guys. And let's get ready for this feature race here at Blue Moon in Field A. This should be a fantastic race here. It really should be. Nine laps of uh, close action-packed racing is exactly what we want. As uh, we get ready, let's hit that race start. Let's get going. So make sure everybody gets on the grid there. I saw Max Bailey spectating at the last possible moment. So hopefully Max Bailey is on the grid. Otherwise we'll have to do a restart. Which is why I wrote down the grid as well. As we get ready for the final round in this evening. Split one. It's the feature race. Chewie on pole. Bex in P2. Did Max Bailey make it? He did indeed. Every car is on the grid here. As we prepare for some more fantastic racing. There is a skill in getting off the line. There's no traction control. You do have to be able to judge the throttle and wheel spin in these cars. As we prepare to get racing here once again. Oh, David's jumped the start. David has jumped the start massively. Going to have a huge penalty here. David's going to go to the left-hand side. That's very good sportsmanship there, David, to get out of the way. Uh, but uh, back to Chewy. Bex has mastered this start. Bex already into the lead. Huge, huge lead there already as uh, Zachary goes down the inside here. As we look for a better camera. Come on, Gran Turismo. There we go. Zachary going down the inside of Chewy here to get P2. The Pampers Mobile there trying to get into P3 as well. Does it indeed? Chewy drops from P1 to P4. The 54 there, P5. And uh, everybody manages to make it through that corner. Happy days. And David has joined the rear of the field there. So Bex leading the way from Zachary at the moment. Oh, we're... Three, four wide here. A little bit of contact there. Jersey just survives it. Round we go again. And Jersey trying to go down the inside of Max Bailey. That's not going to quite work. Oh, there's little bits of people trying to race it. But we all survive again. This is great stuff here. We head to the hairpin for the first time. We're going to hit this nine times. Bex and Zakave. Oh, Bex has got a penalty here. But that should be able to be uh, driven off very quickly here. Um, so Bex from Zakave. Forrest in there as well. Chewie's in there. Everybody very, very close here. As we then head towards left hand. And Forrest is going to get up to P2 here. Forrest, the Pampas Mobile, up to P2 there. And uh, why so suck on the back? Well, nobody's sucking at the moment, that's for sure. So we head towards the last corner once again. And uh, look at this. Mr. Bean in there as well. Oh, in fact, where's Bex? Oh, Bex has taken the penalty. Bex has taken the penalty. That's very kind of Bex. Didn't have to do that. Uh, in fact, I might just uh, snapshot. I just make sure he did take the penalty. So, Zakave into the lead. Forrest into P2. Bex has dropped all the way back here. Um, and a lot of... Well, Tuscany's up to P5 here. Chaldenby's P10. Tuscany's done the best here. Trying to get through the field as fast as possible in that Royal Mail machine. Uh, but Chaldenby with the slipstream there. Bex is just losing out all sorts for just use, slowing down on that penalty. Didn't have to do that. I just allow the drivers to take it whenever they want. No significant issue there. As we go three, four, five wide here. Four wide as we head towards the first corner. Who's going to get this? Oh, slight bit of contact. Slight bit of contact, but they all survive around that corner. Fact, where's uh, Vagabond gone? Oh, Vagabond didn't survive. I thought somebody may have gone off, but should be able to catch up to everybody again. That is why Boost is enabled. Zachary leading the way by six temps. And then everybody behind fighting away there. Further back, we've got Chewy Forest. Max Bailey's in there as well. Absolutely fantastic racing. Oh, the uh, Pampers machine is off there. As we continue on now, Chewy in P2. Max Bailey in P3 trying to have that recovery drive. Tuscany P4 and everybody fighting really hard back here now everyone trying to gain positions every position is worth a significant amount of points here so if you can get the extra positions it's very well worthwhile you doing that oh so a bit of contact there on the exit um as we continue on there's still three wide heading towards this hairpin my word what's going on bex after that amazing start has dropped all the way back to p10 um maybe even be dropping further back here i'm not too sure but uh, out in front at the moment is Zakave. Look at that gap. Commanding gap there. Zakave trying to push away as fast as he can. But the other guys are still in the slipstream at the moment. Um, and they actually plan to go three wide here. Round the oval. Look at this. The Royal Mail versus Max Bailey's Tesco value car. And Mr. Bean 
all fighting for that P2 position as they head down the start finish line to continue on with the laps. It's going to be lap number three that we start now. And uh, Tuscany leading that group away. Zachary, look at that lead. Really not closing in that much here. Just due to the slipstream not being that uh, effective when you hit that top end. You can see everybody line of stern there. Let's go a bit further back here. Vagabond already caught up here. So a couple of people have had issues here. David and the 54 have had significant issues there. Not too sure what's happened there as we then head towards the infield once again here at the Blue Moon Speedway circuit. And uh, you can see the Pampers machine. Oh, there's big contact there. Huge, huge contact. Absolutely huge. Uh, Chalderby's dropped down to P13. Chalderby's first race result where he won. Ah, he's got a lot of work to do now. Let's put it that way. Tuscany in P2 is a co competitor at the moment in this. We'll have a look at a quick replay of that. What actually happened to Chalderby here? We follow Chaldenby round. If we get on board, oh, we're on Vagabond at this moment in time. In fact, Vagabond might be a better. Oh wow, he's had a really good run here. I can't actually see what's happened here. Yeah, three into one doesn't go. A bouncing, bouncing physics, and unfortunately, the result is Lars and Chaldenby go off. Very unfortunate for those two drivers, but we continue on with the race. We've got Zachary under all sorts of pressure now from Tuscany and then P3 of Max Bailey as well. These three have broken away a little bit here, so the fight for the podium spot is on here. Uh, let's have a look at P4 in the second, but Tuscany trying to go for the move down the inside here as we head towards the start of finish line to start lap number four. It's Zachary versus Tuscany versus Max Bailey here. And who's going to start it? There we go. Tuscany's going to start lap number four in the lead. Max Bailey coming in here as well at a fair pace of knots. Going to get that P2 spot. Then looking to get the P1 spot potentially here. Oh, are they going to go three wide into here? No, they're not. Uh, Zachary breaks extremely late on the outside and uh, pulls in to that P3 spot. Let's look a bit further back here. You see, everybody is all over the place. This midfield pack is always absolutely bonkers to race in. Everybody is everywhere. Everyone trying to gain little bits of positions here, there, and everywhere. Uh, and you can see the Pampers machine there of Forest uh, facing Bex. Who Bex is having a recovery drive at the moment in that uh, Monsters Energy. Oh, David's gone off again at that slight left-hander. Really have to be careful in that corner. A little bit of bounciness, and you can go flying on the... Wow, that Pampers machine looks very oversteering indeed. Chaldon be trying to come back through the field now as well. Up to P10 or P9 now. Can't actually tell. It's four wide here. So we head towards the hairpin again. This is some absolutely fantastic action. Heading towards the hairpin. And uh, Forrest keeps that position. Chalderby trying to go down the inside here. Going to get P8 there now. Chalderby really, really working hard here to catch up. You can see the leaders having a big battle here. Max Bailey in Tuscany. Max Bailey just gets that position from Tuscany. Zachary in behind as well. This is bringing everybody else into the battle as well. Side by side into the left hander we go. They're going to have to be very careful. It's going to be a bit of an understeer. Uh, potential lift off required. And Tuscany's definitely had to lift off there a little bit. And Zachary's going to be in here as well. Oh, they're going to go three wide. Back to two wide. Just going to try to get that slipstream a little bit. So Zachary's going to have to go around the long way. That's not going to work here on that oval. Uh, and at the moment, it's Max Bailey from Tuscany from Zachary. And look at this. Three wide. Here we go. This is the kind of racing we want to see. Three wide. Uh, let's have a look quick further back. Oh, the four wide further back. Let's go to the leaders now. Let's see who's going to get P1 heading in towards this first corner once again. It's Max Bailey from Tuscany, from Zachary. Zachary trying to go around the outside. That's not quite, quite going to work. And we go out to the four wide battle. Trying to be up to P7 now. All sorts of cars absolutely everywhere. Uh, and this is some fantastic action, I've got to say. Once again, some brilliant driving on display here in this Mini Madness Championship. Three wide. Now, this corner, again, three wide does not work. Get a little bit of bouncing. And you head off to Narnia. This time, it doesn't quite happen for these guys. They all stay on circuit. Um... Obviously, it's a good thing to not go to Narnia. Oh, that way, contact. They saved Narnia for a corner later. I'm not sure who that was, but they did go to Narnia. Uh, that was the 54, and Forrest 48 has 8.5 penalties. Let's jump to the leaders again. Here's Max Bailey in that Tesco value car, followed by the Royal Mail Machine of Tuscany. Zachary in P3 there. And this is all looking superb. And you can see everybody is still ridiculously close in this lobby as they go round the hairpin once again. Some unbelievable action here. As uh, we continue towards the last corner now. Max Bailey versus Tuscany. Zachary still in there as well. Very good performance from Zachary here to maintain that position. It's looking very good in the slipstream as well. As we go to P4, P4 just outside the slipstream, I feel. Uh, Tuscany and Max Bailey going side by side here. Further back. 
Everybody's lying the stern. Let's jump to that front battle. Tuscany, Max Bailey, Zachary, all in there. Zachary can just pick and choose which slipstream he wants to go for as we head towards the start finish line. Once again, we're going to head to lap number six now. Max Bailey is on the inside, but Zachary is going at a fair pace of knots here. You see there, four wide further back. The Pappas machine's in there. I think David's in there as well, and that's Tarski and Hutch delivery as we head now towards the left hander. It's going to be Max Bailey from Tusky. A little bit of contact here, but they both survive, and Zachary is still in there as well. Absolutely fantastic racing from all of these drivers so far. Let's have a look a bit further back. Uh, Chewy P4, Jersey P5, Bex P6. Shelby still in that absolute ding-dong battle that's happening uh, in that mid-pack. It's very hard to escape once you get in there. As uh, we go to Chelsea right now, you can see a little bit of contact there. They do bounce off each other, these cars. There's David in that uh, liver, uh, that machine, that orange machine. The Pampers machine is in there. Oh, a few people going off-road in there. That was Chewy going off-road in. Jersey's going to have a good opportunity here for P4. Does actually get it. Bex is going to have P5 as well as they then head towards the right-hander once again. Oh, the Pampers machine's off. Oh, this could be a big incident. Oh, there is huge contact there. Huge contact. He was already off the circuit. That was a big, big impact. Not sure what happened there. We will hopefully be able to have a look at that soon. But this fight is really going absolutely bonkers here. As we continue around the left-hander here, that penalty having an impact as well with the cars going invisible. Really wish you could turn that off. Unfortunately, we can't. But we head towards the left-hander once again. Three wide doesn't work here, guys. Three wide doesn't work. Apparently it does, they make it work. Oh, slight like contact with the barrier, but that's no problem. Let's jump to that lead battle first of all. It's TNTR, Max Bailey versus Tuscany. Uh, you might remember this from the best of British as well. These two are going at it for days on end. And here, once again, they're going at it for days. Are they doing a bit of bumper drafting here now? It looks like they are. They are trying to escape that pack. They've obviously seen that pack coming. And you can see that pack coming further back. Look at this. P4 down to P13, all there in your screen. And Lars looking for a pass back, uh, way past Bex there. Five wide, six wide. I have, no, I have no idea how many wide there. So many cars went wide there. Uh, but Vagabond looks like he's gone further off to Narnia. You might see him shortly. There he is. He came back on, fortunately, for Vagabond. But my word, what a battle we got going on here in the mid pack as well as at the front. Uh, again, two packs here that have developed. Uh, a very large pack behind the podium positions. So Bex is obviously going to look to try and escape here. A couple of guys could do working together here, trying to escape uh, a few a few more cars of the mid-pack and maybe catch up to the leaders. There is every potential of that happening as Lars is going to have to go defensive here versus Jersey. Chalder be still in there, battling his way through there. Bex has managed to get to the front of this pack as they all come in here. And you can see that there, they all survived that once again. And up ahead, look at that battle. Oh, the Pappas machine's gone off again. But we're going to go to the P1 battle here. It's Max Bailey versus Tuscany versus Zachave. Let's see what happens as we head towards the left-hander once again. And in, there we go. And uh, it's going to be a case of slipstream. Or is it going to be case, uh, a case of making moves? Let's find out here. Max Bailey, Tuscany. Zachave, what is going to happen here as we head to start lap number eight? Tuscany looking close behind. Is he going to go for it? No, he's going to go for the move. He's not bumper drafting. That's going to put Zachave in a very strong position as well. Because Zachave is going to have the slipstream for a little bit longer. Here we go. zachave has got the slipstream. Oh, he's going for the bumper drafting here, Zachave. This is very interesting tactics. Trying to stay behind for later on in the race. Maybe not wanting to fight. Maybe wanting to... Uh, Try and make sure the podium is secure before fighting. I'm not sure, but Tuscany gets that lead now from Max Bailey. And Zachary in P3. Right, what's going on further back? All sorts is happening back here. As uh, David goes down the inside of the coops there. They're all still neck and neck here in this mid-pack battle. Oh, a little bit of contact with the barrier. Oh, a little bit of a dig dog. Oh, is that back up? Got off. No, he keeps it. He manages to survive with that car. My word. When the bouncing happens in this car, the weight transition sends it everywhere. Oh, where did Vagabond go then? Vagabond was going to Narnia and uh, he's going to have to try and catch back up once again. Let's jump to the leaders. Anyone going to make a move down at the hairpin? Max Bailey side by side with Tuscany Zachary trying to go down the outside here. Three wide into the hairpin. Here we go. And Max Bailey's going to get that move done. Breaks very late. Tuscany going to go off the cup by potentially. Oh, he does. A little bit of contact there. A little, that's a bit heavy, that one. Um, maybe a bit too heavy. We'll find out. It's up to the drivers to decide whether they want to report an incident. But even so, we continue on with the rating. Tuscany from Zachave now in P2 and Max Bailey in P3. They have one more lap to decide who is going to come where. Let's have a look further back. Forrest trying to get rid of that penalty. Not much left of it. De Coops looks like he's had a penalty there. They're three wide heading towards the left-hander here. Oh, my word. This is unbelievable stuff. They hit the left-hander now. And uh, who is going to survive the barrier? Oh, Lars has hit the barrier. That's going to cause a Constantina effect. 
And they're going to go four wide, five wide round there. But let's jump to the leaders now. Tuscany leading the way from Zakave and then Max Bailey. What's going to happen is they head towards the final lap now. And Zakave goes to the outside. Max Bailey's going to have a big slipstream here as they head towards turn one once again. It's going to be Tuscany, Zakave, Max Bailey into turn one. They go. Zakave going to try around the outside again. That's not really worked every single time. And it's not worked again here. Max Bailey trying to stay close. Is Max Bailey going to get that P2 position? Where is P2? I can't see him. There's Zakave. There is Zakave. And there's been a bit of a gap split there. So, oh, a little bit of contact. Max Bailey's going to get P2. And uh, Tuscany versus Max Bailey. Zakave's in there as well. I need to have a look a bit further back because there's been a bit of action further back. Let's quickly have a look. Dewey and Bex have broken away here in P6 is to 54. And then there's all sorts happening further back still. Charlie still in there fighting for his life in this mid-pack battle. There's a few people with penalties in there uh, as they head towards the right hander. A little bit of contact here, there and everywhere. I don't mind light contact. I mean like rubbing, not forceful contact. But let's find out. Let's jump to the leaders. Max Bailey's gone for the move down the inside of Tuscany. A very similar to move what Tuscany did to Max Bailey earlier on. With a little bit of contact as they head now towards the left-hander hairpin. The double apex hairpin. And it's the hit there one last time. Round they go. And three drivers on charts here. Or on points or whatever you want to say. There's every chance any one of these drivers can win this race as they head around the left-hander for one last time. It's Tuscany from Max Bailey, from Zakave, who is going to get the win here as they go around the oval for one last time. Tuscany trying to look around the outside here, trying to get a bit of an advantage. Oh my word, this could be close. It's going to be Tuscany versus Max Bailey as they head towards the line. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. They've not quite done it. Oh, my word. Zach Gray comes in. Oh, that was really, really close. It's Chewie versus Bex now headed towards the line. Oh, that's going to be even closer. And Chewie just gets it. And then further back, we have absolute carnage as everybody crosses the line there. Um, I will go over the results shortly. But you can see the results there as well. That penalty having an impact. That's why some drivers did decide to take the penalty beforehand. And we get music this time. We missed the music on the previous ones, but we have music now. And we have absolute carnage there. Let's save the replay just so we have that. And let's have a look at the race results there. So Max Bailey wins from Tuscany there. Uh, Zakave in third place. Two temps separates your podium finishes there. It then We then have Chewy, Bex, the 54, the Coops, Chelderby, Lars, Jersey, Forest 4A, Vagabond, the HT, and FFS, David M748. Now, guys, if you want to compete in this championship, if you want the thrill of the racing, the excitement of the racing, make sure you check out the description to find out more information about this Mini Madness Championship. But that's going to be it for me for now. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.